The effort to bring a major league soccer team to Austin reaches a pivotal point this week. Council members could make a decision as soon as the day after tomorrow on proposals to either put a stadium on city owned land near the domain or do something else there. KVU's Luis De Leon is live at City Hall where the council is hearing this evening about what that something else might be. Luis. Mike and Quita, community developers, leaders, and residents attended today's special call meeting as council members listened to presentations about potential development near McCullough Place at the Domain. Now, these proposals are to rival what the owners of the Columbus Crew soccer team want to do with the land. One group actually had two proposals, one that still includes a stadium and another that doesn't. All the proposals put an emphasis on filling the space with affordable housing, green space, and office space. Some of the proposals also included donating money to buy land and build youth youth soccer fields throughout the city. We'll have more tonight at 10 about these proposals and hear the public's reaction. We'll have those bullet points from today's presentations on our website at KV.com. Reporting live at City Hall, Luis De Leon, KVU News. All right, thanks Luis. And as the council was hearing those pitches this afternoon, four council members proposed changes to a possible deal with the owners of the Columbus crew to build a stadium and bring the team to Austin. First, they want to jack up rent the team would have to pay on the site. The current proposal calls for $550,000 a year starting in year six. This new plan calls for rent to start at a little over $950,000 the first year and increase by 2% every year after that. They also want to share that rent with other tax jurisdictions, Austin ISD, Travis County, Austin Community College, and Central Health. Right now, only the city would get paid. The council members also want stadium developers to pick up the tab for a new Cap Metro Rail stadium at the st uh, station at the stadium. The council is set to take up this deal and the other alternate plans at its meeting on Thursday.